all right so a quick one today we are going to look at how to do a variance covariance matrix in r and we're also going to be looking at how to do a correlation matrix and the final one is going to be the eigenvalue and eigenvectors okay so i have a a, a that already on my desk desktop so we are going to use this code to import control enter then it's saved on our desktop so i'll go to desktop and um type co okay look at it here so i would click on open so you see it is saved here it is saved here so now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to try to view this data to see what we have So, these are our data. So, these are our data. We are having three items. We are having uh, CR, uh, the chromium, the lead, and the zinc that are tested on these various sites. Okay. So, we want to see if there is a covariance among them. And uh, we also look at their variance and look at their. Uh, and correlation matrix and eigen and eigen vector eigen value and then eigen vector so to do this let's go back to um, our information now from this uh, data that we are seeing you will see that we are having four columns but we just need only these three columns so we are going to do something about that come here so this information here i have created another variable here my data so this information you use this code select data which is what we have imported then this column here column open bracket two because we want to start from column two three and four then control enter so it has been saved as having three variables instead of four all right so moving forward now we want to take check uh, for the covariance and um, variance to do this we are going to either use the variance function or we use the curve which is the covariance then we click our control enter all right so this is the uh, variance matrix or the covariance matrix and how we interpret this is the variance is the diagonal so the 12.30 6.30 and 3.80 are the variance are their various variance Okay, so from the variance, you can also get the standard deviation when you take the roots of the variance. This, uh, then for the, co the covariance, the covariance is as follows. The covariance takes a triangular shape. So the covariance between the chromium and the lead is minus 0 0.45. And the, the, the covariance between um, chromium and lead is the same thing as the covariance between... Um, uh, uh, chromium and lead here so this and this is the same thing as this and this so that's why we're having the same figures there all right so the, there's a correlation between a covariance rather between uh, chromium here and zinc here and of course it's going to be the same thing as that of zinc and chromium okay so the variance takes a diagonal form while the covariance is a diagonal so the um triangular triangular form so now for the covariance of chromium and lead we have minus 0 0.5 four five the covariance between our uh, um lead here and zinc is 4.80 and uh, the covariance between zinc and uh, um zinc and chromium is 0 0.55 so so that is the interpretation inter interpretation for that then moving forward we can um look for their correlation metrics and in doing that we type this function correlation my data then control enter all right so this is their correlation metrics and we should know that for a correlation matrix the diagonal will be one so that is why we're having one here as a diagonal all right so here you see the correlation between chromium and lead as minus zero point zero 0 0.5 and everything everything there we would also see the correlation between chromium and zinc here okay so like i said earlier the correlation between chromium and lead is the same thing as the correlation between 
uh, lead in chromium so that's why we're having the same figures here okay so that is the correlation matrix we can look for the eigenvalue vectors and eigenvalues by typing this command then we are using the correlation matrix okay so we type in this um, this uh, command this code and control enter and here we are seeing our uh, this is our eigenvalues given here now the eigenvalues talks about the importance of each of these items when we want to do dimension reduction okay so that is the so if you can see now you would see that the first one here has is more important when we talk about dimension reduction all right so these are the eigenvectors so the eigenvectors represent a weight for each eigenvalue all right so the eigenvector um when we time the eigenvector with the square root of the eigenvalue it gives us uh, what we call the component loading all right so that is all about this okay so in our now next um lesson we're going to talk about how to run a principal uh, principal component analysis okay so